it. <laughs> Look at this beautiful enchilada with zucchini flowers. I am so excited. And that's mole. So, so excited. How was it? Really good. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I like this one a lot. Chorizo, cactus, onion, salsa, avocado. Fine. Dan enjoying his little cortado. <laughs> it's quite good. the Frida Kahlo Museum, which is in the south of Mexico City, and it's this beautiful compound that she and Diego Rivera uh, purchased when, I think later in their careers when they had come into some fame and success. Uh, but what I love about this museum is it gives us more clarity into her life. We saw the movie last night, which yeah. was really epic, really beautiful, from like 2002. 2002 over 20 years ago and they definitely took some liberties in the movie in the details of her life but here you get more clarity and I, I think we just have a better understanding that she did so many self-portraits as a way to process her identity her relationship with her body with herself her pain her pain yeah because she suffered like several accidents and many many surgeries and um, emotional trauma too so very special lady and very interesting artist who lived a yeah very rich life in, in many ways but um, there's a lot that you don't see under the surface so I definitely encourage you to look into her life and definitely watch the movie if you haven't yet. I love these trumpet flowers they are so pretty oh they remind me of my grandma it's been one of our best um, first days of travel. I agree with that. Yeah. Just so relaxed and exploring and, and so many taco stands. Lots of taco stands and practicing a lot of mindfulness too. Yeah. As we all know first days of travel can be really stressful but not this time. No, it's pretty good. Bone marrow tacos. It's beautiful. I love the smoke, uh, smoky effect. Gotta get all of the bone marrow. <laughs> of course. The best taco you've had all day? Nice. Good to hear. I'm excited to try it. Wow. Shrimp smells so good. And I love shrimp heads. <laughs> <laughs> They're like my favorite, favorite part. I love it at all the sushi restaurants. They always give you the head of shrimp on the side. Yeah. Kimchi taco. 
your dessert is gorgeous. Isn't it? Fried plantains with uh, red bean ice cream and fruit puree. And look at these beautiful flowers. Love it. And I have here a cheesecake baklava with rose ice cream. Mm, I love baklava. <laughs> oh. That is really good. Yeah? yeah. Tart or sweet? Uh, a little more. Okay. Yeah. Give it a try. of our delicious guacamole. I'm a little overwhelmed. Oh my goodness. These are chapulinas. I got a leg, hold so, on. So, grasshoppers? Grasshoppers. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you are so brave. Come on, have a bite. I don't know why it's, it's good. I encourage us to order this. Yeah, you're the one who wanted it. I gave you an out. I said we don't have to have it. <laughs> I can't even touch it. Let's do it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> good job. It's not bad. It's good. I liked it. Mm. Right? Yeah, a little spicy. It's seasoned really well. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I can eat another one. I think you can. <laughs> okay. It looks so yummy. Yeah. Looks great. I have decided that I'm going to eat crickets because they are going to save the world. And they're pretty tasty. They're really good, actually. And they are an excellent source of protein. <laughs> Actually, one of my favorite times eating crickets was when we found cricket chips at a farmer's market in San Francisco. And they were covered in cheese powder and so good. And I have not been able to find that brand since then. I don't know if they went out of business or something, but... I wouldn't be crickets. surprised. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Yeah. These are such beautiful plates. Oh, yeah. Fresh tortillas. <laughs> bon appétit. Bon appétit. We just got back from the, or just left the Museum of Anthropology in Mexico City, and it was amazing. So many cool exhibits, uh, a ton of really awesome Aztec, Mayan, different Mexican culture artifacts. There was the actual sunstone. There was the altar where they, where they did all the sacrifices. Yeah, altar where they did all the sacrifices. The vessel where they held the hearts. Two hundred hearts at a time is what the guide said. Yeah, brutal. Yeah, brutal. And then the Mayan culture, and then there are different uh, religious gods. And it went. It starts at like prehistoric times with Neanderthals and really cool exhibits. And they put a lot of thought and effort and absolutely gorgeous art architecture. And uh, food was really good too. I we had. Agree. Yeah. Was that your first time having crickets? Yeah. Uh, no, I've had them before. I had them in um, had a sushi restaurant in Austin that we had. It was like a fusion and then also cricket chips. Was that your first time having that many crickets that looked like crickets? <laughs> that was a lot of crickets. <laughs> <laughs> the whole bowl was covered in crickets. Yeah, yeah I want to share also that I, what I loved about the anthropology museum was learning about all the different indigenous cultures that actually, you know, like they had a lot of peaceful rituals, but there were also a lot of very violent religious rituals. I noticed that this is quite persistent in so many of the cultures that we're learning about all over the world when we look at history. And it makes me so grateful to be living in the time that we live in right now, in modern human civilization, yeah. that we live in relatively peaceful times with lower physical violence than 
has ever existed in human history. So it just gives me hope that the progress of humankind is in a positive direction and towards more peace. Completely agree. <laughs> This is where we're staying in Mexico City for the first couple of days. I love these vaulted ceilings. Is that what they're called? They're like very high ceilings. You got a balcony over here. Overlooks the street. And a little bar area downstairs. Beautiful trees with flowers and some local art. This is by an artist called Homer with a J, which I think is super cute. We've got this uh, chandelier made of, I think wool, made by Oaxacan artists. And here we've got, uh, what are they called? Lam uh, lamps, I guess. Lamps made of agave, dried agave and woven. So beautiful. Handicrafts, beautiful vanity, sink area. <laughs> And really nice large shower, standing shower, which is the best. Nice natural lighting. <laughs> That's really it. There's a little reading area with a mezcal bar. <laughs> There's a little patio area here. You can just hang out. It's a pretty cool mural, very colorful. There's a little conference area and a game room with like fully stocked with candy snacks. It's kind of cute. <laughs> We tried to go to the Panaria down the street oh and gosh, the line was so long. it was like an hour to get a bread. We have a policy that when we travel we try not to wait in lines which is definitely more enjoyable. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited for this breakfast. Mm. That chili sauce is really yummy too. Cuernavaca at this beautiful hotel called Las Mañanitas and it's where we celebrated the wedding of our friends Dominique and Enrique and it's just such a beautiful venue. If you're in Cuernavaca I highly recommend staying here and there's beautiful peacocks, there's parrots, beautiful flowers at this time of year and the food is so good. And now we're just getting ready to go back to Mexico City and I'm so excited to get back because we have so much planned for today. Today is a special holiday in Mexico called Children's Day, Dia del Niños, and yeah, there's going to be some festivals in the special part of town called Coyacan, which is actually where the Freedom Museum is, so I'm excited to go back and explore more of that area. And this evening, we are going to go to the Ballet Folklorico, which is a folkloric ballet in the traditional Mexican folkloric style, so I'm so excited for that especially since it's in the Palace of uh, Bellas Artes, which is supposed to be a beautiful structure. And yeah, Mexico City, is, it's been such a beautiful trip so far. Like the people are so friendly, the food is so good.
So is it. Okay. Yeah. Got there, babe. Al pastor and a chile relleno taco. All of the toppings. With lots of toppings. <laughs> okay, that is a taco. Yeah, this place is great. last day in Mexico City and we are getting ready to go back to the airport and to go back to Austin. This has been such a beautiful trip in Mexico City. My first time here and just a dream come true. Everyone has been so friendly, whether you're asking for help or trying to communicate in Spanish or broken Spanish mostly. Everyone is just so accommodating and so friendly. The food here is amazing. And Dan and I have been staying in Roma Norte, which is such a beautiful part of town. It's got this very European charm. I think it's a relic of the Spanish colonialism, but it's just so beautiful. I'm so excited to come back over and over again to experience Mexico City, especially since it's only about two and a half hours flight from Austin direct. If there's anything that we should check out next time or anything that we missed, please let me know and I will be so excited to try them out in a future visit. All right, bye, see you later.